Hello everybody. In this video, we talk about how do you know if your USB cable is good enough for to work with your Quest VR headset, whether you can use it for PC VR or whether it's fast enough to transfer a file fast into your PC. Now, what you see here is actually the VR Link cable, the one that I got I bought uh, to work with the Quest 2. This is the official one. Of course, it's highly recommended, it's high quality cable, but what happened if it broke and you can't use it anymore you need an alternative one and well if you don't want to pay high price because it cost eighty dollars as of the time making this video well which one is actually good enough for you to work with now keep in mind that having the cable alone is not enough for you to actually play pc vr games there are minimum requirements you can find on meta uh, that uh, specify the graphic card operating system uh, the uh, cpu everything that is make your PC uh, VR ready, basically allow you to play high quality PC VR games on your Quest Meta headset. Now, this is the specification for the uh, VRLink cable, the official one, you can see that it's USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C, all right? In order to connect it, at least one side needs to be USB-C. This is the one that connects to the USB-C port in your headset. This is the Quest 3, the one that you see here. Also keep in mind that on your PC, in order to enjoy the bandwidth, you need to have a connector, a port. This is actually at least the speed of your cable in order to enjoy uh, its maximum speed. But it, it is backward compatible, so if you put it on the lower USB, it will just transfer at lower speeds. And you can see that in the single requirements, you see they say USB 3.2, Gen 1 signal, 5 gigabits per second, and it's also said it's USB 2 backwards compatible. Again, this is for the official VRLink cable. Now, I actually broke my VRLink cable, so RIP, and actually asked Meta which cable uh, is be compatible with. And they said I need a USB 3 uh, uh, compatible cable in order for it to work. On the main website, when I look, they actually say they have high quality USB. Uh, it doesn't specify, but basically it's USB 3. Uh, and again, there are different versions that are even speedier that you can use. If you can see also the recommended at 3 meters, 10 feet for an optimal and comfortable experience. Something important to note. Now, the sake for your curiosity, you're probably interested to see the speeds for different USBs. It is, this is from Wikipedia. You can see the speeds for USB 3.0, the maximum speed, maximum signaling rate, USB 3.1 and uh, USB 3.2. All right, next, in order to connect your headset and test the cable, you need to go to this address, all right? And we're gonna download the software and install it on your uh, computer, all right? In this case, I install it on my Windows. I need to download the software and install it. So make sure to go to this address and scroll down a bit until you see a download button, all right? And just download the software to your computer. Again, if you can't see it, make sure to scroll down because it's not really visible at the top. You need to scroll down to see it. So click download software. All right, the next thing, make sure to turn on your headset and connect the USB uh, cable to your headset into your PC. Also make sure to approve the connection in your headset. So wear the headset and approve the connection. Otherwise, the PC won't be able to connect with the headset. Right, you need to approve it by wearing the headset and approving inside. This is again, this is the USB port on the Quest 3 of your headset. So you can see here that I connected a USB cable. Uh, I'm going to show you, by the way, what it says if you use a lower one. This is USB 2 cable, by the way. I'm going to also use, going to use free, and you're going to see the test result. Open the software and go to devices, all right? And then you're going to see your headset. It's supposed to be green. All right, if not, you probably haven't uh, approved the connection. Then click on the headset and then scroll down until you see USB test. Click USB test and then you can click test connection to test the speed. This is a good one to actually test cables in general because it will tell you the bandwidth, the speed uh, of the cable and also verify if it's sufficient enough what you need and also the USB version as well. It takes several seconds and it says, you see bandwidth 1.9 gigabits per second, gigabits per second and the connection USB 3. So this is good. You can see it is compatible and it's a USB 3 cable and it says that it is compatible. Great. 
Now what happens if I use USB 2? Well, I'm going to show you. Now I'm connecting a USB uh, 2 cable into the headset and I'm going to run the test again. By the time I actually just connected it, it already realized it's actually not good enough. It's actually showed me what you're going to see here in a moment. So I'm going to device it, it shows me this mark, this orange circle, and it says USB free connection recommended even before I actually tested it. So it already knows this is not enough. It can still work, by the way, you can still transfer files uh, to your, but again, it's going to be very slow. And of course, it's not uh, recommended at all for PC VR. So you can see that when I tested it, it says uh, the megabits per second and it's USB 2. So again, this is not recommended. So this cable is not good enough. So this is it. That's how you test things. How you know that the cable that you might have even works. Maybe you have already a cable USB 3 that you didn't know. It's also recommended to take one with 90 degree uh, right angle in order to be able to easily connect it for a more comfortable uh, attachment to the headset. As you can see, like the original one. So this is recommended. It's not a must but it is recommended getting the 90 degree angle if you can find one that is compatible. And that's about it. Give a like if you find this one useful. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.